In this lesson, we're going to look at how to multiply polynomials. Your essential question is, how do we multiply polynomials? And take a minute, write down your essential question. And when you're ready, start the video back up. Um, when we multiply polynomials, you're going to see the direction say, find the product. It's saying find the product because the product is an answer to a multiplication problem. And so one thing I want us to really understand is I want us to understand what are the factors of the problem and what is our product. And so just looking at a very basic, basic problem, 3 times 4. I mean, this is something we've done in elementary school. 3 and 4, remember, are called the factors. They are the factors that create the product of 12. And that's just really important because our products and our factors are going to get way more complicated at this point. So here's an example of a monomial, negative 5c to the third, times a trinomial, 9c squared minus 8c minus 5. And so I'm asking you to find the product. I've given you, <clears throat> excuse me, the factors. These are the factors. Now hopefully when you look at this, you're just like, oh wow, that's easy. All we have to do is distribute. And this is why we learned our exponent rules, because we have to think about our exponent rules. Remember, it's okay to multiply when they're not like terms. Negative 5c cubed times 9c squared would be negative... 45c to the fifth. We multiply our number bases, we add our exponent. Okay, and then we're going to distribute here. So this would be positive 40c to the fourth. Remember, it's understood that there's a 1 right there. Okay, I'm going to distribute it to the negative 5. So that would be positive 25c to the third. And so what we've done just now is we've created or we've found our product. So our product is this trinomial or polynomial. Okay, so for the next two problem, I'm going to give you two different methods to use um, because I know all of you have different learning styles. And we're going to look at the same problem but using two different methods. And so one method is called the box method. Okay. And so <clears throat> we're going to look at a binomial, x plus 4, times another binomial. Okay. If I'm going to use the box method, I'm going to draw a box that is 2 by 2 because there's two terms in each binomial. I'm going to draw a box that's 2 by 2. And I'm going to write one of the factors across the top. And I'm going to write the other factor down the side. Okay, it's kind of like a multiplication grid. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my, my box. I'm going to multiply. x times x would be x squared. 4 times x would be positive 4x. And I'm just stressing the signs because it's going to be helpful for you in just a minute. x times positive 6, positive 6x. 4 times 6, positive 24. So the box is just to help us do the multiplying. We're not done. That's not how we want to write our answer. What we need to do now is we need to look for our like terms. So here we have x squared. There's nothing that goes with it. And the great thing about the box method is your like terms should always be diagonal from one another. And so I'm going to add my like terms together. So 4x plus 6x would be 10x. And then I have the plus 24, which is a constant term. So here is my product, my trinomial x squared plus 10x plus 24. So the box method is one option for
for you to um, find your product. <clears throat> the other method has been around since the dark ages and it is called FOIL and I mean it's like distributing I, I mean honestly when I use FOIL I don't even really use the words but I want to um, kind of tell you what it means we're going to use the same problem that we just did so we know what our end result should be okay and what the little acronym FOIL tells us to do is it tells us to multiply our first terms together so those first terms would be x times x x times x is x squared then it tells us to multiply our outer terms together which would be x and 6 so plus 6x so all we did here is we took the x and we multiplied it by every term in my second binomial. Okay, easy. Some of you might like this method better. The I stands for inner terms. So now I'm going to multiply the two inner terms, which would be 4 and the X. So 4 times X is 4X. And then the L stands for last. We're going to take the 4 and the 6, and we're going to multiply 4 times 6 which is 24. So again, we took the 4 and we multiplied it by both terms in the second parentheses. And so now, just like we did in the box method, we're going to look for our like terms, which in this case, they're right here. So it would be x squared plus 10x plus 24. Same product, same result, just went about it a tiny bit um, differently. Which method you choose to use, is totally up to you. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna, we're going to do a lot of practice in class tomorrow, but I want to give you one problem. 3x plus 1 times x minus 6. And I want, I want you to try it. I don't expect you to be an expert yet, but I want you to try to take one of the methods, either one, and kind of set it up and see what your product is. And we will pick up from there in class.